Jeff Blank been talking right now with Kemper head baseball coach Randy Snyder after a very nice 6-1 to victory here tonight against Atlantic. Uh, coach, you guys uh, came out tonight. Uh, we'll talk about that second inning here in a second, but God, I thought it a great pitching performance tonight from Tyler Williams. A one-hitter tonight and a very solid defensive effort behind him. I thought Tyler Lang had some really nice defensive plays over at third. Yeah, Tyler Lang really played well. It was the Tyler Tyler show tonight. Tyler Williams, wow. Uh, going against Hawkins, an all-state pitcher, and you know, he, he put it to us the first time, and he beat us 5 to nothing. We were lucky to get a couple hits off him that night, but tonight the guys really made nice adjustments at the plate. Uh, he came out in that second inning, and we were able to get ahead in counts and get that fastball. Talk about that second inning. Put all six runs across the board in the second inning. Got it on four hits, nearly five. Uh, that one was kind of one of those bang-bang kind of grounders that was tough to play, but uh, you guys really got to it, made him work really hard in that second. Well, we got him to throw out of the stretch, and his velocity was down, we thought, when we got him to the stretch position. So, uh, But I really liked our guys' resilience. His resiliency. You know, last night uh, got beat 8-4 uh, by a very good team. Tonight we come back and beat a very good team. So very proud of the guys, proud of their effort. Tyler Lang at third really showed what kind of a baseball player he is uh, making those plays. And then Tyler Tyler Williams made throwing strikes. I think he walked one guy tonight, Jeff, to, and give uh, Ben Berg a lot of credit behind the plate, uh, calling a great game. You talked about the adjustments you guys made. Uh, Hawkins really pitched well against you that first time. I think he had what, one hit and struck out nine or ten times that first time. Tonight didn't really strike out much three times on the night. What adjustments at the plate did you guys make against him, do you think? Well, the guys just choked up a little bit, and, you know, we, we took out a big stride, and we just wanted them to load a little softer so we could get to the barrel to the to the ball. And, you know, the guys have seen good pitching all year, so, you know, it will just it just makes us better. It gets us ready for down the road, and to beat a quality pitcher like Hawkins, uh, yeah, it should be, I, we told him in the huddle it should be a great confidence builder for all of you guys. Talk about Tyler Williams a little bit tonight. What do you think worked for him, and, and what was working so well with him and Ben as far as pitch calls and everything else? Well, he was getting ahead in counts. You know, he's pitching ahead in counts, and then he he hit his spots very well. I thought tonight, and his slider was pretty darn good. And like I said, he, he changed the eye level. The Holmes kid is one of the best hitters in the conference, and you know we were able to retire him, all, you know, outside of the one time with the double. But uh, you know, he just hit his spots, and he sprinkled in the, the breaking ball. I thought he did. A, phenomenal job tonight. Any thought of taking him out or was this his game to kind of to finish here tonight? No, I'd never do that to Tyler. He's a, he's a senior and you know he pitched very well. He had a one hitter and you know uh, he deserved that. He's worked very hard. We're very proud of him, what he's doing for us. Uh, he had a nice job night at the plate again, uh, getting us a single and, and driving in a run. And his, his work ethic has really proven, uh, showed that how much uh, great player he is for us. And like I said, we're very proud of him. And he, the sky's the limit for him. He's going to be a, a good college player for Bur- uh, for Barclay. Coach, uh, you guys kind of came through a stretch where you played a ton of games in a short period of time. Not really had a break, but it slowed down just a little bit. How much has that, do you think, helped this team maybe come into this game a, a little fresh tonight? Well, I, I think the group of games together really pull the guys together. You know, it, it's, a, it's a grind. It, it, you come out the other end of it, and, you know, if they're still standing, they're going to get better. And the guys really... You know, there was a losing streak and there was a winning streak, and the guys really did a nice job sticking together. Chemistry after that I thought was phenomenal. You know, the guys uh, really rallied around each other when things were going bad and they were smart enough to be humble when things were going good. So uh, really proud of them at this point of the season to be where we're at. We've got a lot of things we'd like to accomplish yet, a lot of work we got to do yet, but tonight's a good night for the Knights. Well, Coach, appreciate you joining us here. Congratulations on this big victory. Well, thanks for covering us, Jeff.